Hi guys, Justin here, and it's a Tuesday, and I'm out in the backcountry. You may be thinking, Justin, don't you have a job to be at? And I actually got a concussion about two weeks ago, and have essentially been off work since then. I was feeling pretty terrible, lots of headaches, um, dizziness, nausea over the last two weeks. Over this past weekend, I started being able to, to get out and walk a bit. Um, so today I'm walking out, pretty short walk, out to a backcountry campsite on Lake Minnewanka in Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada. And I'm gonna be just hanging out for the next few days at this campsite. So I'm just gonna be chilling, no screens, no work, no TV. It's gonna be pretty relaxing and I'm looking forward to it. I guess just to let you know how I got the concussion, I was playing Ultimate Frisbee in rec league so it shouldn't be too uh too serious but i went to to throw the disc and a guy came from behind and his sternum hit the back of my head and i didn't get knocked out so that's good um the doctor said that a low velocity hit like that hopefully i should be better in three to four weeks so fingers crossed and hopefully this trip kind of helps out with that so i'm about halfway to my camp start right now I'm feeling pretty rested up, so let's get going. So we've made it to camp. You can see bear lockers right there. So this is my first stop. I'm gonna drop off all my food and smelly stuff in the bear lockers. I'm gonna go set up camp. All right, tent set up. Got my chair down there. So gonna, gonna have a seat and just chill in the sun for the next probably a couple hours. And then um, gonna make dinner. Hey dear, what's up? It's a little windy, so probably won't start a fire tonight um, unless the wind dies down quite a bit. But it's dinner time, so let's get cooking. So I'm just gonna boil, boil some water, put it into this bag of chili, and then eat it. Good morning. It's about 8.30. I just slept for 12 hours, 12 hours straight. It's really quite beautiful out here. You can check out my view that I got going on here. There's no coffee for me this morning. The doctor said limit my caffeine intake, alcohol intake. None of those have really been that big of an issue for me. I don't have a lot of caffeine in the morning anyways. I, don't, I haven't been really drinking that much over the last like eight months. Just kind of been doing a lot of activities outdoors, exercising a lot and, and just kind of, I guess, being pretty pretty healthy the only thing that i have really indulged in the last little while is a lot of cookies and ice cream but that, this trip no cookies ice cream dehydrated meals and then as my little treat snack i have chocolate covered m&ms and pretzel bites so i'm going to get the day going a bit more have my breakfast wait that's <laughs> that's actually all i really have to do today make sure I eat food and drink water. So this is what I'm gonna be doing most of the day. Got my pillow here, got my Kindle, water. Just gonna be relaxing on uh, the Nemo switchback foam, foam mat here. Enjoying the views, the sunshine, and just uh, generally hanging out. So just ate lunch, been just resting all morning. It's been nice, did some reading. As far as symptoms go, feeling pretty good. I think the biggest thing being out here in the sun is staying hydrated. Um, I probably haven't drank enough water this morning. So I'm gonna try and try and catch up this afternoon, do quite a bit of quite a bit of hydrating. It's getting it's pretty hot out, it's probably like 25 degrees Celsius. So I might go for a little swim in the in the lake, but the lakes 
I think the lake's probably around two degrees would be my guess, so it, it'll be cold. Hey buddy, hello, how's it going? Hi guys, so just want to give you a little update on how my day's been going. Kind of took the afternoon off from filming, just napped, took about a two hour nap, did some reading, laid on the beach, did a little bit of stretching as well, so I'm ready to go for uh, Ultimate Frisbee when I get back. I just want to touch base a little bit on why I chose to, to come on this kind of recovery retreat. Outside of getting away from screens and kind of the hustle and bustle of, of the city. Something that I've been reading about with concussions and something I talked to my doctor about was the fact that after the first couple days to a week when you are supposed to really rest and take it really easy and kind of let your brain recover from the in initial trauma. They say the new research that's out there is saying that you should slowly start doing some physical activity as well as mental activity. And it's really all about paying attention to your body and your symptoms. And the really nice thing about being out here compared to being at work where I'm also using my brain is that I can stop kind of whenever I want and I'm much more in tune with how I'm feeling and what my body's feeling. So it's been really nice for that. A few studies that I read where they compared two different groups where one um, slowly introduced physical and mental activity compared to one that didn't, showed that the group who introduced mental and physical activity ended up recovering much faster than the other group. And I'm, I'm staying positive, because I think, I think that's really important when you're recovering from any, any sort of injury, whether it's a brain injury or like a broken arm. Just want to kind of build off of what I was talking about at the end of the last video, um, keeping kind of like a bright outlook when kind of going through concussion recovery. It was kind of scary when I was doing some reading about concussions and there's a lot of reports out there saying that one of the side effects is depression and anxiety. But I also started reading a bit more into it and with the change in recovery strategies where they're telling people to, to get out there and slowly start introducing mental and physical activity back into their lives after that one to one week range. They're starting to see that maybe part of that depression and anxiety was due to the old recommendation where they tell people just stay in bed and rest until you're symptom free and don't try to have any sort of active recovery. So that was another reason why just going through all the reasons why I'm doing this trip. But I just wanted to talk about that and I think it's something that more and more people are talking about with concussions is the recovery and how that relates to mental health. I know I keep saying I'm about to eat dinner but I really am. It'll be to bed pretty soon because it's six six o'clock already. As long as the deers don't eat me. Bedtime. I'm gonna sleep for another 12 hours tonight probably. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. Rained a bit last night, so gonna be fun to pack up my tent this morning. Uh, this is the last day of Justin's concussion recovery retreat. I'm hiking, hiking out from the campsite this morning. Just wanted to say thanks for coming along with me. It was nice to kind of have the camera around to, to turn my brain on and, and talk to you guys for a bit. But I also just wanna reiterate that I'm not a doctor and every concussion is different and unique. So make sure to talk to your doctor and do your own research if you have concussion and just make sure that you're doing what feels right for you. This is this trip out here, um, getting out to a campsite and doing a little bit of walking and some thinking was what was I think right for me at my stage in recovery about three weeks. So it's I'm not super far into a concussion recovery. Some people take six months to a year and I'm really hoping that I can recover a bit faster than that maybe in the next couple weeks but you never know it's such an unpredictable thing. Um, the mind's a strange strange beast and who even knows what normal is so if I can get back to even a little bit of what I was like before this concussion that'd be great. I think active recovery is, is important. It's important to keep your body and mind active to 
to stay sane when you're when you're not really supposed to be taxing yourself too much. This has been a really nice relaxing three days. Glad I could share it with you and we'll see you next time.